Uh, I've had pre people to say to me, uh, Pastor wouldn't go back to the pulpit. Stick to preaching and let the government stick to governing. And, and there is this constitutional separation of church and state. Well, let me uh, deal with this. Um, first of all, marriage from Genesis chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, and so forth, and so on, belonged to the church. It was only in the 1800s, the mid-1800s, uh, that the government got involved in this institution. They taxed it for the purposes of raising money. Marriage is more than a civil union. It is a spiritual union. We get the term marriage from, not from the government, but from the God of the Bible. So marriage is a spiritual institution. Now Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, in Matthew's Gospel chapter 19, the sixth verse, and the B clause says, speaking of the institution, what God hath put together, let not man put asunder. Now these are the words of our Lord. Our Lord said we are not to stand idly by and allow this institution to be redefined. We're not invading the government's territory. The government is invading ours. The letter that gave us the, the, the phrase separation of church and state was written by Thomas Jefferson. Uh, he wrote a letter to the Danbury Baptist Association whom he was working for. What, what the, the association's concern was government intrusion into marriage, into religion, excuse me, not religion's intrusion into government. Jefferson said in the letter that a man's religion is a matter between him and he and his God, not between him and government. What we're really trying to do is to keep people from legislating immorality. We have a right to speak up and to say those things that are scriptural. I'm afraid that we're headed in the direction of Canada and, and other countries where they have considered certain portions of the gospel as hate speech. It is the responsibility of every minister who is worth his or her salt to stand flat-footed and say what God has said and not take down. Whether that person uh, is black or white or Republican or Democrat, it matters not. The Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar. And the God of the Bible says that marriage is a union between a man and a woman regardless to what any politician may or may not say. The church needs protection uh, uh, from the government so that we are allowed to at least say what God says and practice our religion uh, freely. And those of you who advocate uh, that we should change, that we should redefine marriage, and that we should allow same-sex marriage, just know that what you're dealing with is a freedom of religious issue, freedom of religion issue, a religious rights issue. What is at stake is our ability to practice our religion freely as we have practiced it all of these years.